Hi, my name is Ned, and in this quick, fast-paced tutorial, I will show you how to send an SMS using triggered actions. For my use case, I have created a report that lists patient prescriptions. The idea is for the pharmacist to process the prescription once it's ready for pickup. The workflow is very simple. Once the prescription is ready for pickup, we'll select the patient, click on Edit, and change the status to Approved. Only when the status changes to approved is when I want to send the SMS to notify the patient that their prescription is ready for pickup. This is a very common workflow seen in many of these types of applications that deal between the patient and a pharmacy. And I'm sure many of you will be able to relate to it. Now let's go inside Caspio and learn how to configure the trigger to send the SMS upon status change. Note that inside this demo I have two tables, one for patients and one for prescriptions. Why? Because a patient can have multiple prescriptions, so this needs to be set up as a one-to-many relationship. I also recommend that you use the relationship screen to join these two tables using a common value between them because it'll make it a lot easier to configure the trigger later on. Now let's learn how to set up the trigger. Because I'm updating the status on the prescription table from open to approved, I will need to create my trigger based on this table. To create the trigger, click on More, and then Triggered Actions. Then we're going to set up a new triggered action. The first change that I need to make is to run the action on Update Data Event. Why? Because I'm updating an existing status. I'm not inserting any new data inside this table. Next step is to insert the type of action we want this trigger to perform. And the type of action that we want is to send an SMS, so drag and drop it inside the Actions widget. The next step is to click on the gear icon, then use the Select statement. This will allow us to access data from other tables. Once the Select statement is added, you will see defaults to Insert a Table. This table represents the information being updated in the Prescriptions table. We need to get access to the patient's table so that we can use the patient's phone number in the To section of the SMS. We'll click on the gear icon one more time and use the join statement to combine fields from one or more tables by using a value common to each table. In our example, it's the patient ID. Notice that I'm joining to the patient's table and because I use the relationship screen, Caspio automatically configured this join for me where we match the patient ID of the inserted table to the patient ID from the patient's table. Now, because we said that we only want to send this SMS when the status is set to approved, we need to change the WHERE clause to reflect that. So click on the drop-down and select the status field. And we want that to equal to approved. Now let's insert the phone number field inside the TO section by clicking on the data and moving the field element inside the TO section. Notice in the drop-down that I can now select the patient's phone number from the patient table. This is because we use the join to look inside the patient's table. Lastly, all you need to do is customize your text message. I will quickly go through this. Once you're done, go ahead and save your trigger. Give your trigger a name. And once again, save and enable. And that's it. You're done. The behavior that we should see now is every time a pharmacist selects a patient, clicks on Edit, and changes the status to Approved, upon update, an SMS will be sent to the patient letting them know that their prescription is ready for pickup. Now, obviously, you can't see my phone, but I just received a text letting me know that my prescription is ready for pickup. This concludes the video on how to send an SMS upon status change. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please use the comment section below. For additional videos on how to use Caspio, keep it right here on our YouTube channel. For written articles and tutorials, visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks on how to use Caspio.